Hey, welcome back to Splitwood. Today, I'm gonna show you how to clear brush with a 25 horsepower tractor just like this one and turn this into this. If you're watching this video, you're probably new to owning a tractor and new to brush hogging. But don't worry, it isn't very difficult once you know a few tricks. Hopefully your dealer was like mine and took you through how to attach and set up your brush hog or rotary cutter. If not, I'll share a link down below of a video that you should take some notes on. And once I'm done negotiating with this thing, we'll get it hooked up and we'll be on our way. Now don't get too frustrated, unless you have one of the quick hitches, these things are always a little bit difficult to hook up. But once you do have it hooked up, be sure to lift it straight up uh, before you turn it on. Uh, it, it's a terrible way to end a rabbit's life if you turn that thing on without giving him a chance to get out of there. Okay, the first and obvious way how to brush hog is to just drive forward pulling your brush hog behind you and let it mow down everything you run over. But there are some things you need to keep in mind. For instance, you may not be able to see an object in front of you that you don't want to run over. So it's a good idea to lower your bucket and keep it nice and low to the ground. And this may mean constantly adjusting it up and down to uh, match the terrain and clear out anything or at least hit something that you don't want to run over. And having your bucket down isn't an excuse to not pay attention to the things that are coming in front of you. So keep an eye out, be watching for things. Uh, for instance, this log, I should have probably cleared it out. I didn't think it would get hung up or cut up by the brush cutter. But sure enough, it did get hung up and drug for a little piece. Not a big deal, but you get the point. Um, you know, watch out for these sorts of things. So as you can see, this is one of the simplest ways or easiest ways to brush hog. And while I do like cutting this way, it doesn't leave really the best finish. Uh, I mean, you're getting a single pass, so it just doesn't get all of it cut. I mean, when you're cutting difficult things like this briar, um, it just won't get all of them cut in a single pass. Okay, let's move on to the way that you'll probably be brush cutting most of the time, backing in. Now, in my opinion, this is probably one of the best ways to do it. Not only does it give you a great view of what you're about to brush cut so you can look for obstacles, but it gets you two passes on cutting the same stuff so you get a better finish in the end. Now in this next clip, I realize it's not the best angle, but I want you to see how I lift the brush cutter and then drop it down on top of some of the brush that's trying to push away as I back into it. Now this technique can also help when the brush is really tall. You can back into it with your brush hog up high and then lower it down onto it to cut it up. Okay, let's talk now about how do we deal with these trees. Now, some people like to just run them over and let the brush hog do the work that it does. Um, and you can see here, as I do this, I'm pushing down pretty hard with my front bucket, even picking up the front wheels, and then let the brush hog try to you know, chew up these trees as best it can. And it does an okay job, but leaves most of the tree behind. And in this case, I need to come back with the bucket and get the rest of the tree. Which is why I prefer to use the bucket instead of the brush hog to remove trees. 
So let me take you through how I remove trees with just my bucket. Now I have two approaches on how I do this depending on the size of the tree. A small tree I'll typically push down towards the bottom of the tree and a larger tree I'll push from the top and push it down first. Now with the tree on the ground and some of the roots exposed I'll try to scoop the tree out. Less of a scoop more of a push uh, and try to get that tree out. This one went pretty easily. Uh, they don't always go that way. I'll show you that here in just a second. Uh, let me show you these smaller trees how I do those and then I'll show you um, what can happen when you kind of struggle a little bit so with this small tree you'll see how I approach and then lower my bucket and then get it right there at the base of the tree even a little push down and then I'm gonna go forward with the bucket kind of scraping the ground to get the tree out Now with this next tree, uh, I struggled a little bit, just a small tree, but uh, you can see how I hit it there at the base. Uh, I back up, but I don't have my bucket quite low enough. I'm not quite scraping it. So I go right over the top of the tree uh, and then it makes a little bit more of a struggle here. So this one will be a little bit more work, but not a big deal. And with a little deeper plunge with the blade, we get this one out, no problem. Okay, now let me show you one I struggled with. Uh, this next tree here, uh, I made several mistakes on. I tried to push it over too low. I should have been a little higher. And then I proceeded to try and dig it out rather than try to push it out by its roots. But even though I did both those things wrong, uh, with a little bit of determination and just kind of ramming this thing, uh, eventually uh, I do get this on out. And you can see, I noticed the errors of my ways. Now I'm trying to just hook those roots uh, and push this thing out rather than dig it out. And my stubbornness pays off and I finally get that one out, even though I made several mistakes. And I just wanted to share that with you. And that's really all there is to it. It's a lot of persistence, kind of figuring out the tricks that work for you and just sticking with it. As far as any additional tips that I would have, I would definitely say that something that helped me was doing this work after it had rained for a couple days. Um, I did have one day of dry after, so two days of rain and then it was a day dry. Um, and then it just seemed like there's a lot less pollen coming up from the brush cutting and the trees just seemed to release from the ground a lot easier. Well, I really hope this video was able to help you uh, learn how to brush hog, clear trees with just a standard bucket, um, and feel more confident about getting out there and doing this yourself, and hopefully inspire you to get out there and improve your property. And if for any reason you're still a little intimidated, be inspired by my 12-year-old son here, who after just a short lesson was out here doing this and proud of his work. Hey, if you liked this video or found it helpful, please click that like and subscribe button. We sure would appreciate it. Thanks so much.